Hi, welcome to our mat. Today I'm doing a series of videos on linear equations and specifically cost, revenue, and profit. Okay, the bike shop produces and sells road bikes. Each bike costs $700 to build and is sold for $1,500. The shop fixed costs per month are $12,000. Okay, write a linear cost function. So the cost function includes the unit cost and the fixed cost. The unit cost is how much it costs to build a bike and the fixed cost. So it's the $700 per bike plus the $12,000. Write the linear revenue function. Well, the revenue is how much they make, which is the $1,500 per bike. So in business, we have the money out, which is the cost, we have the money in, which is the revenue, and we think of those as two different money streams. I know some of you are like, but that's just $800. Don't do that. In business, we have to keep budgets separate. Later, we'll put them together in profit, but really at this point, we wanna keep all of the costs in one table, all of the revenue in a separate table. It'll make budgeting easier. Okay, find the cost of selling, building and selling. 40 bucks bikes a month. So C of 40 is 700 times 40 plus 12,000. So the cost of 40 bikes is $40,000. Notice we label, we always label our answers. We are in math. We are not, we are not primitive. We do all of our labels. Okay, the revenue of selling 40 bikes well, the revenue of 40 bikes is $1,500 times 40, and the revenue of 40 bikes is $60,000. Okay, so now let's have fun with our cost and revenue. The next question says, find the break-even point. Okay, well, the break-even point, when the month begins, the cost, we start off with this $12,000, and we start producing bikes, and we are in the red. We are spending and spending and spending. And then we start to sell bikes, but we're still in the red. And the break-even point is that point where our revenue equals our cost. It's that point where we are no longer in the red. We haven't made a profit, but we are no longer in the red. So that is what our break-even point is. Okay, so our revenue is 1,500x. Our cost is 700x plus 12,000. We subtract 700x from both sides. 800x is equal to 12,000. Divide by 800. And x is equal to 15 bikes. Again, there's our label. So what does this mean? It means that once the shop sells its 15th bike, they've broken even. The 16th bike, they'll start to make a profit. Speaking of profit, dun, dun, dun. find the profit function. The profit function is going to be the revenue function minus the cost function. It's revenue minus cost because we want revenue to be bigger. We want to be making more than we're spending. So profit function is going to be 1500x minus, and we're putting it, we are going to put cost in parentheses, 700x plus 12,000. If we don't, that 12,000 is going to remain a plus, but everything in cost has to work against profit. If it doesn't, then our profit is going to get all wrong. So we have to make sure that the revenue is positive, everything in cost is negative. Cost works against profit. So profit is 800X minus 12,000. All right, and then find the profit at the break-even point. So the break-even point was our 15 bikes. So the profit at 15 bikes is 800 times 15 minus 12,000. And lo and behold, that's a profit of zero dollars. 
All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.